All right, in this video, we're going to cover uh, the basics of clocks. So clocks are actually in the sensor box. So then we drag a clock onto our screen and we end up with a non-visible component that is a clock. And a clock has three different properties. When the timer is enabled, we will count down at a certain interval and every time the interval expires, it gets to zero, we will then uh, do the action that is in the clock event. Right? So this interval is in milliseconds, right? so a thousand milliseconds, which is the default setting, is one second. Right? So if we wanted to do things twice, two times every second, we would decrease it to 500. Okay, so in this one, one, we're just going to have a simple action of updating that number. All right, so we get the clock, we got the event timer. So every time the timer goes off, we're going to do something. And in this case, we're simply going to update the label. grab the wrong one, the label's text value, to be the counter. Right now, that would update it to be zero every time through. So we're actually going to also set the counter to a random number. Okay, so this gets a random number from 1 to 100, updates the counter to be that value, and then we set the label. So every time this clock goes off, a new random number will be generated and then our display value, our label, will be changed. Okay, and it, at present it goes off twice a second or every 500 milliseconds. And we can change this value to be higher if we want this, the clock to go off less often or lower, such as 250, if we want it to go off more often. If the timer isn't enabled, right? if we uncheck that box, or we go through and set timer enabled to be false, then the clock will not count down. Right? So if it doesn't count down, then it can't go off. So that's how we turn our clock off or on, depending on what we want to do. So this has been a basic introduction to clock usage.